Okay, now this segment is about trigger finger placement. Before I even get started, I want you to understand something. We're at a disadvantage because our hands work in this fashion. You'll always want to strive to pull the trigger straight to the rear, but understand something. You're set up to pull the trigger off to the side. You've got this action that you're almost you know, predetermined to do. It's kind of our default mode. So you have to make a conscious effort to pull the trigger straight to the rear. It's not gonna happen by accident. So you need to know that going in. All right, so that being said, for most people with normal size hands, for most people, if you can put the trigger on the center of the first pad, that sets you up best for pulling the trigger straight to the rear because you get this action going. I mean, that's your ideal setup where I put the center of the first pad right there and that sets me up for pulling the trigger straight to the rear. Understanding you're already behind the power curve because of the way your hands work. Okay, now, some people with big hands, they don't have a choice. They're gonna have to put more finger in. They don't have a choice. So what they're gonna end up doing is they're gonna end up pulling the trigger more in this area. They got real long hands or real long fingers, I should say, or real big hands. They don't have a choice. The problem is, and what they're going to have to overcome is, this has a tendency to pull the gun or pull the trigger to the inside. So when people do that and they come over here, it's not uncommon to when they do it, they're going to pull the trigger and do that, right? Not uncommon at all. So they need to be aware of that and they need to look for that in their pistol training and they need to understand that's going to be something they're going to have to deal with. All right, now conversely, people will sometimes only put the tip of their finger on the trigger. Some people are, are taught or they believe that's the way to deal it to get, that's the way they need to do it to get the best trigger feel and it's not a good plan. So, so here I am, I'm only going to put the tip of the finger on the trigger like this, right? And then the theory is, well, I'm getting better trigger control and I can really feel the trigger come to the rear. The problem is, in most cases, when they do that, they push the gun to the outside, all right? And in some cases, depending on where you pull the trigger, you may not activate the trigger safety on something like this Walther. On this PDP right here, you may not even activate the trigger safety depending on where you put your finger if you're just using the tip. So that technique, I can tell you, you never want to do that. You never want to put just the tip on the trigger and pull the trigger that way. If you can, use the center of the first pad. That's your ideal setup if you can do that. And then if you have very large hands and that's not an option, you're going to have to put more finger in, but you got to look for the fact that you're going to be predisposed to pull the, the gun to the inside. Okay, this is something you need to practice. Practice it pointing at the target, get your trigger finger placement to where it needs to be, practice it finger straight from the ready position, all right? Then you want to practice it from the draw. Take it slow, all right? Remember, crawl, walk, run. Take it slow where you're picking up correct trigger finger placement as you're presenting the gun to the target. So once you've got some rounds downrange, the whole thing becomes second nature. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a good one. We'll see you right back here.